and welcome back to part two of the encoding with MEGUI tutorial. Now, when I left off, I was saying something about opening up MEGUI. So let's go ahead and do that. Ta da! Okay, um, when you open it up, you're not going to have any of these things in here. And if it's your first time ever opening it up, you're probably going to have a lot of updates that is going to say, look guy, you got some updates. You, you want to update? Say yes. I do want to update. So, update it, and then you're probably going to have pop-ups to say, like, um, I don't know, preset or something, import or whatever. So, you want to import those. So, just like right-click, and then click check all, and then import. So when that's done, you'll it'll say that you're gonna need to restart MEGUI. So go ahead and restart it, and you'll have something like this when it's finally all done. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to come down here to the audio part, and you're gonna want to open up your video and the audio input part. I know that sounds weird, so open up your video the original video that you're encoding from okay and you're gonna have it like this now come down here to the encoding settings and select mp3 you can be any mp3 profile doesn't matter but it has to be mp3 because mp3 goes with xvid avi so <clears throat> well actually mp3 goes into avi so that's what you need and then come down here and click this button come up here to this tab and click start and you're gonna have a pop-up whoa whoa yeah sorry about that and you're gonna have a pop-up those like this and let it finish I'm just gonna abort mine but let it finish um, don't worry about all that crap that just popped up. That was because I had a tool that hadn't finished muxing yet. So it started to muck something that I wasn't, I didn't even notice. So, but that pop up box, the little one that I just click cancel on, that's what you're going to see pop up. Um, now, if you get like notices that say that you're missing like DLL files or something, just click OK until they all go away. Don't even worry about it. Okay, and when you're done with encoding your audio, come over here to the input part, and you're going to want to open up your AVI Sense script that we made in Notepad. So come down here, open it up, and you're going to get a video preview. Now, browse through this thing and make sure you see your subtitles in your video. If you don't see them in there, I don't know what's wrong probably something happened with your VS filter or something I'm not sure so if you have a problem just post and we'll try to figure it out but I'm not sure if you see your subtitles then we're all good and we can close this out so the next thing is we're gonna wanna change our encoder setting to an XVID setting so for me I'm using this one 2pass HQ the reason for 2pass is because well it makes better quality videos and it compresses files better but I changed my settings a little bit and that's why I clicked on the config button I changed my settings to number of B frames of 4 and threads to 2 so just for the hell of it and so you see what I see I'm changing this to 1 and then I clicked on turbo up here now click OK and it's gonna say your profile's been changed do you wanna save it Yes, I do. But I'm changing this back. Okay. And now, make sure the file format is at AVI. And if it is, we're all set so far. Everything's going good. Now, come up here to Tools and click on the Bitrate Calculator. Now, you're probably wondering, what the hell is this? Well, this helps determine the... Uh, basically the quality of the video okay and the total size of your final video so come down here where it says audio whoops and uh, select your audio that we just encoded okay so open that up and then uh, 
basically, well, don't worry about what I'm doing right now. Basically, um, it's going to come up with some crap right here, okay, for your audio file automatically. So don't mess with anything else. Then next, come over here where it says total file size. Make sure you have it selected and then click on this arrow and click on select size. Now, very important, if you're encoding from an H.264 source to an XVID source, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your, to make your final file size larger than the original video. The reason for this is XVID does not compress near as well as what H.264 does. So if you want to maintain your video quality and things, the file needs to be larger than the original. So if your H.264 file was say 350 megabytes, like a 350 megabyte MKV, then you're going to want your XVID video to be like 500 to 600 megabytes. So I'm going to put 500. I'm going to click OK. Now, for some reason, my Apply tab is grayed out. But don't worry about that. So yours shouldn't be. So click Apply. And then it's going to be a pop-up that says, apply settings to the current video settings or something like that click yes and finally we click this button come up here yes I already have that file sorry I'm just, it was just asking me if I wanted to overwrite the file so click on that and then come up here to this tab and click on start you'll see this pop up let it do its magic now for you depending on how large your video is um, or how long the video is it'll take a while so the time varies so let it run and let it finish come on there we go mine's done alright come back over here to this tab when it's finished and what we're gonna do next we're gonna mux together the video that we just encoded and the audio that we just encoded to make one final video so come up to tools then go to muxer click on AVI muxer now on video input open up the video that you just encoded which is this and then for audio select the audio that you just encoded so then when you're done with that click on this button come back over here click start and it'll run do its magic and then it'll be done and you'll have your final video and you'll be completely finished but let's say that you wanted to encode into an H.264 hard coded or hard subbed mp4 file now to do this it's the exact same steps and things that we just did except for your encoder settings you would select an x264 profile doesn't matter I'm just selecting a random one okay just to show you file format mp4 okay for your audio change your encoder settings to AC3 AAC or Vorbis okay select one of those and it's the exact same steps that we just did encode your audio and then come up here to tools the bitrate calculator calculate your bitrate apply it to your video settings then click on this then come back up here then click start and then mux come up here to tools muxer mp4 muxer and then you'd be done so that's it I hope this helped um, if it didn't I don't know what to tell you now I hope it helped like I said um, so yeah have a good one cheers and avoid.com rocks my socks